Hi there. Oh, tells us it's being recorded now. That's We're recorded. <laughs> All right, cool. So thanks for coming on again. You've been on the, the show before and I appreciate it. And today we were going to talk about guiding the sellers through making an offer with it being like, with the offer being contingent on their home selling. Yeah. All right. So what do you, you had a couple of ideas of like how to do this. What are you thinking? Yeah. So, and everybody has their own opinions on, on how to run their business, but I, I kind of see two different options. Um, I think we talked before, neither one of them is great, but you know, we're going to try to work for our sellers in order to get right. into their home. Right. So right. the first one is to go ahead and put it on the market. So you have everything ready, you put it on the market, but in the advertising of it, you, you mentioned, Hey, you know, this sale is contingent upon us, you know, finding something else. I usually right. like to put a time frame in on that. So we're just not hanging out because for they're ultra picky years. and we're in it yeah. six months because they can't <laughs> find something. Right. Um, I've usually seen about two weeks, you know, we'll sell this house if we come to an agreement, as long as we find something in two weeks. So, you know, buyers so are kind of willing. So then if they don't find something, there's buyers are great. Then we're done. And so, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, there's not really a great option right now. Um, the best option was would be to sell it and find something in the interim, but that's not great. People don't want to double move or nobody right. wants to rent short term. So right. um, it's an option though. I'm not saying it's awesome. No, but, right, 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 right. Um, you know, and, and some buyers these days are willing. I mean, if that's the house for them, maybe they're willing to take that chance, if you will, of missing yeah. out on another house coming up. And so, you know, that could be an option. They could know, also make it where if they're willing to do that, then like, let's say a bridge loan is like not an option, right? Because like, that would be the yeah. first, well, first, if there was a place that they could go, that would be yeah. great. Br or a bridge loan would be great. But if it's not, I mean, this could be an option, but if I was representing the buyer, I would be like, that's fine. But if we find something else, we have the right to release. Yeah. But then if you... I mean, you're likely, if you're doing inspections or stuff, that money's like kind of lost, you it, know? It can be. I mean, and the, these agreements, you can you can term them however. So you can right. wait till everything actually uh, goes into effect to do your inspections and stuff like that. Put you a little bit behind. And, you know, with all these contingencies running around, it can get muddy. It can get so, muddy, yeah. And, and you're right. Something I didn't think of is the bridge loan. I don't run across two terrible people you know terribly many people that can do that um there's that a few out there to. yeah or want to take the risk you know to do that so what we've been doing too is like we've been doing like what you said like going ahead and like putting it on but then negotiating occupancy after closing longer so okay. like and we've done that like a handful of times because the seller in this market i mean this the seller control fairly controls like the terms right uh, every, so it's like every bit of it yeah so when we're dealing with the other buyers agents we're like hey just so that you know the offer that's going to win is not only going to be like the most that the highest price but then in a release of a release of contingencies but then also somebody that can allow them to stay for like a month or two yeah. and we've and that's been working because a lot of these buyers have made other arrangements already true and, and, and sellers, for the most part, are willing to leave a little bit of money on the table to have that extra time. So we've seen that. Yeah, a, a exactly. Lot. I've seen that too. And a lot of times the sellers, like, cause you can do like a rent back too, which we've done before, but in a lot yep. of cases, the buyers like aren't even charging them depending on how long it is because they don't make their payment for like another month after. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like. It's kind of a wash. It's a little bit. And of it wash. looks better. Yeah. It's, it looks better on the offer. Right. So. If you have the same offer, except one says, hey, you know, you're going to rent that back at $900. And yeah. the other one says, nah, just take it, you know, and, right. and guess what? <laughs> right. It just kind of sucks for the little buyers, but that's okay. What was that's your other true. one you were thinking? Well, I mean, the, the other option, obviously, you mentioned the bridge loan, but uh, would be, and I'm doing this right now for a few people, to where we're actively looking for their next home. Mm -hmm. I've already had the photographer at their house. I've already done my kind of site work, uh, room measurements and all the info. And I have the file sitting here for when they say, we want to buy this house, Right. we'll throw it up on the market. Yeah. I mean, all I have to do is push a button at this point yeah. to get it active on the market. Right. 
and they're in a great spot. They're aggressive with their price point. So it's going to sell. You just have to, that their buy side, you have to explain that to the seller's agent and right. to the seller to say, right. hey, yes, it is contingent. That's where we are. We can't help that. But, but look at these pictures. We're ready to go. This is where it is. This is where we're priced. This is where the market is over there. Um, and just overload them with information saying this will be a quick sale. We will have multiple offers. Yeah. And so while it is still contingent, we're going to sell this place. The other option, and this is kind of like a far, and that, that can work. And we've done that before, right? And that requires you to have a relationship with yeah. the other agent because they have to know and trust that it's going to get done. And it has to like make sure all the, everybody agrees. Right. But yep. like the other option too, is like a hard money loan. So like where yep. they're not, it's a very risky. <laughs> <laughs> so it really depends, right? Are you advising this? <laughs> no, I'm not advising. I think it's Are very risky. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're talking about options, right? So like, this is where we have to get creative and it does really depend on what the buyer and seller want. And everybody has to understand like, what the risk rewards and everything is, right? But like, Definitely. if you have, we have a lot of investors right now that there's really nowhere for them to invest their money. So depending on the seller's loan on the new house, as long as it's not like, as long as it's a conventional loan, it's not FHA, there's no seizing issues. You can yeah. have an investor maybe buy a house for them that they would normally maybe buy anyway, right? And like, yeah. or maybe like they could like put it as a rental or whatever, but like then they would buy that house for the sellers, like yeah. the sellers that are then the buyers, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, but they you, would charge them a lot of interest. And then I was going to say, yeah, they would charge them a high interest, which is why it's a hard money loan. And it sucks. But like, that's one way to not be contingent. They would have, I mean, it's a, it's a specific type of investor that's willing to do that. Totally. Yeah. But that's a possibility too. If you have clients that have money and know where to put it and want to yeah. earn some interest. I mean, they probably you, want at least like 10. I was going to say, do they want interest since it's such a short amount of time or like a finder's fee? Yeah, maybe both. Yeah. I mean, it okay, depends on how bad you not? want the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I guess that's so, true. Yeah. So it just really depends on everybody's situation, you know, yeah. what's, what's going on, but like I don't we know. said, that's, those are all options. I don't necessarily like any, <laughs> like <laughs> any of them, but uh, that's what the they bridge are, loan has been like either the bridge loan or the sellers. Cause the bridge loan will typically allow on some of them. I mean, they allow like a year for yeah. the, but you have it to kind of depends. Able, yeah, you kind of, you have to be able to afford both houses, which is the rubbing, right? That's the yeah. sticking point. But <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Or where they can make arrangements, like where they can sell it and then stay for like two months. That allows them enough time to find a house and yeah. buy one, right? Like yeah. go through the process. That's ideal. And then if they, for some reason, can't find a house, they need to have their plan B. Yeah, that plan B is getting tougher. You know, the rental market yeah. is just ex if not more competitive right now. So, which is all the more reason as realtors buy rentals. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I have short, term, short terms would be great right now. By the yeah, way. short term would be great. You can charge more, you yeah. know, you usually will have to have them furnished, but you just have to work out your numbers and your math and, and see, because then you can, and what, a, what a better service as an agent to say, you know what, part of my service as buyer and seller's agent, I have somewhere for you to stay for a month. Yeah. Now, I can't say that I've done that, but what a great idea. <laughs> I've done it a few times, but they've been more like where they were like maybe moving out of town or whatever. And so they've been longer than a month, but like, yeah. and then they end up staying for like a couple of years, but I have like <laughs> my rentals, a lot of them are filled with our clients. So it yeah. does, they like it and it works and it works for me. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I appreciate you coming on again, Curtis. And just so yeah. that everybody knows you're in Indiana. Um, yep. I forget the company. Wagner Auctioneering and Real Estate. That's right. All right. So <laughs> if um, people have a referral for you in Indiana or they want to like toss around some ideas with you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? So email probably. And that's my first name, Curtis, C-U-R-T-I-S. And then that's at yourhoosierhome.com. Cool. And if people are watching this and they are subscribed to the agent newsletter, you're actually in our newsletter too about how Wait. to get one deal a week. <laughs> So awesome. that'll come out in a couple of hours. Great. All right. Thanks a lot, Curtis. Have a good day. Appreciate it very much.